guys welcome back to the channel cheers we're gonna be doing a, a great video today I'm, I'm excited I mean this is gonna be a good one what are we doing so we have a 2006 Lotus uh, Exige currently 100% not I mean powertrains 100% stock uh, I bought it 100% stock but what we're gonna be doing is adding a nice stage 2 exhaust so here's the OEM exhaust uh, fun story real quick before I get right into this. It's, one, it's super tiny little exit, so I'm excited for the new look. But um, I actually bought an OEM exhaust for uh, my Lotus Elise Turbo, but come to find out the turbo exhaust system, you couldn't even, there wasn't enough room to even install an OEM exhaust. So I ended up having to sell that uh and then just go with the, this like it's called a light featherweight exhaust and it came out the um right here where the the mesh is i actually like that oem mesh i know that a lot of people like to delete that but i think it's an aesthetic uh look and it kind of looks like a ferrari and i like that so i am going to be leaving that and we are going to be doing the jan speed stage two but um i actually did have one of these oem exhausts before uh here is the jan speed stage two uh, it is second hand uh, you can look right here it says jan speed muffler track use only and then it has a lotus part number uh first off the exhaust are like three inches on each side significantly bigger maybe 2.5 i think it's about three inches uh let's actually measure it real quick here i want to see so we got measuring tape three inches a little bit even more than three inches three and a half inches how awesome is that right yeah three and a half so three and a half inch versus, guys, let's run back over here and I'm thinking that these are gonna be two. So we're gonna come down here and the, me, man, yeah, look how small that is, so two. So we're going way bigger. Um, I'm excited, it's gonna look way more aesthetic. I'm gonna do a how-to and then we're also gonna do some flybys. So first things first, I'm gonna start the car and let you guys listen to the stock exhaust. Okay, so uh, stock exhaust, we'll just do a cold start on it. It's pretty quiet. Not the worst, but actually pretty quiet. So, it's not loud. Uh, it's pretty quiet. It just sounds like a normal car. Uh, it is more verbally than a stock Celica or a stock like XRS or Corolla. It actually does sound a little bit more sporty but it's not what the car should sound like from how cool the car is. So this is the stock exhaust. We are gonna now uh, turn the car back off. So we'll do that together. If I can reach my hand around here. Okay, car off. There we go. Man, that was hard. <laughs> okay, um, now what we're gonna do is put the car on jack stands and so we have access. I will lift the car up here on the front. I'll lift it up on the front and then put a jack stand right here on the back. I'll come around on the other side. I think I already did a video on this. I'll put the lift car up right here, put a jack stand here. The front will go down and then we'll have access to here and we will have to remove the diffuser. Super simple. Uh, you guys heard the stock exhaust. You will see in the beginning because I always put the awesome sound clips in the beginning of the video. But well, I'm just gonna do a how-to in case you ever wanted to soup up your exhaust, and I definitely recommend souping up the exhaust. There are a lot of options. Jan Speed was secondhand, and I saw it, um, so I was like, let's just try the Jan Speed Stage Two. I don't remember. I didn't need to go watch my video of how I. I think I used four jack stands. I'm only using two. I put one on the um, contr lower control arm, or spring arm, right down here. Uh, okay. This is the diffuser. It's huge. Mine's black. Some of them are um, silver uh, on the Exige. I'm not sure if they all came black, but my old one was not. Uh, there are a ton of eight millimeter bolts. So uh, I'm gonna count them real quick. Five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 12, or 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 of them. That's a lot. 14 eight millimeter bolts to get this diffuser off. That's insane. And then I think these are 10 millimeters over here and there's two on the side. And then also there's, I think 12 millimeters there. So you're gonna have to remove 16 bolts to get this diffuser off. I remember the same thing happened uh, with my other one. The diffusers are a ton of work. So let's start off by removing the front of it and then moving our way back. So we're gonna do those first. Uh, then we'll switch over back here and we'll drop this and of course we'll clean it. Here is that OEM giant can. Fuser's off. I'm gonna clean it and then I'm actually gonna repaint it. Um, I'm thinking like, I'm gonna do, uh, I usually, I like gloss on everything. I could do a lot of gloss black. No, lately I've noticed though that all my wheels have been uh, matte. Um, I used to be super into gloss, but now a lot of my wheels are matte. Uh, what am I? Yeah, I have the same wheels on my cell phone. Anyways, uh, so I'll paint this so it looks good, the diffuser. Uh, it actually did wear out some right here where the paint did come off, but the factory, good job. Good job, Lotus, by making it black. Bad job, that is insane, the amount of diffuser bolts right there. So that's the mess. Um, I remember this from my last car. The two final bolts that hold it up, right here and right here, these ones, weird, 13 millimeters. That's weird. Okay, so you can see obviously there's an exhaust here. I should, I should have, I didn't, I cheaped out. I bought, I didn't buy the, um, I guess you'd call it a downpipe or midpipe from MWR. I wish I would have. Why didn't I? I'm cheap. Uh, here's all the OEM heat shield. It's like literally made of nothing. Like you can like just turn, it's like aluminum foil. You can crunch it all up. So be careful with it if you want to leave it. Um, the whole Lotus is just made out of chewing gum and sticks, just to let you guys know. They're, they're so fun to work on, they're really easy. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead, and I wish I was taking off the headers and stuff, and I didn't, but whatever. Man, how it was so easy to turbo these things. I'm interested in turboing it again, but I'm not going to. So what we're going to do right now is we're gonna come back over, over here, and there should be, uh, or up here, sorry, excuse me. Let's grab, actually we'll come on this thing first. I take the light. Uh, oh, you can't see it on this side, right here. Mitch, do a good YouTube video. All right, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'm working on it, guys. Okay, there's two, right there, on this side, on the outside, there's two hangers that are eight millimeters that are holding up the exhaust canister. Canister, exhaust, ugly, big old turd. It's gonna uh, weigh a lot less. Actually, we're gonna weight in this video. Uh, we actually use, uh, I think, a 5 8 uh, for this. This is a clamp right here. And the clamp's actually like welded onto the exhaust, so it'll probably come out with it. Uh, these are eight millimeters up here. There is a cool little heat shield gap right here. That's for, uh, so that the exhaust can come out. They're smart, good job Lotus, that's cool. Um, yeah, I actually didn't have any heat shield on my other car. <laughs> had none of this, uh, it was all gone. That being said, we are loosened up those, so this could come down right now, but you have to come over to the driver's side and you're gonna try to access those eight millimeters. And what you need to do is, uh, I'm gonna remove the wheel and then come in and access those from up there. Uh, you know, if you were doing the downpipe, uh, which I, sh I should have done, the midpipe, I don't know, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna come back here and do get one, I know I will. Uh, it would've been easier because you could have removed all of it and then put the new one in. So definitely get the a downpipe combo uh, instead of just the exhaust, I highly recommend it. And I know that there is an O2 sensor right up there and you can actually get an O2 sensor extension so it doesn't even give you a OB2 or a check engine light. Uh, not literally damaged, but damaged work. I removed the O2 sensor. There was a 10 millimeter on the top and 10 millimeter or two 10 millimeters on the top, two on the bottom. Uh, these are these rusty little bolts right here uh, and they hold on heat shields. I usually keep heat shields sometimes for OEM. I'm deleting these ones. I don't want them. Uh, you will be able to see the curvature of this pipe. Why? I think originally, or originally, eventually I'm going to get to the MWR no cat, more horsepower and supercharge. There is a cat right here. This is the catalytic converter right there. O2 sensors right after it. Um, we'll clean the O2 sensor, put it back in. Uh, that is the connection right there to the giant exhaust um, right there. That's the, we already loosened that up. 
And then here are the eight millimeters that we need to loosen and then the exhaust should release. Let's zoom in for you guys. The exhaust should release. This is difficult, uh, about an hour to get all of this. Again, what I'm gonna say is lift the car up, pull the wheel off, come in here, you'll be able to see it uh, right away. And uh, you know, that's passing now that I do that. So I guess that's gonna, since I removed the heat, that was in the wheel well? I was thinking about that now, that's why it's so dirty. This was in the uh, wheel well, it was like this, like that. So maybe I will put it back, I'm not sure, I doubt it. Um, otherwise, I guess the wheel, you're gonna have that now. There is no cover right here. This is just gonna be open gap. Uh, you could probably make a plastic piece cover that, I guess, but maybe not, I don't know. I don't, that's it actually, it's always been that way. Um, I know that the diffuser will be there too. So I can probably see why, I'm, I'm learning right now as I'm with on, oh, on phone with you guys, uh, on, on uh, camera with you guys is that maybe the, the seat shield was there to actually ask as a fender liner, but maybe not. I didn't remove the fender liner. Anyways, long story short, uh, we should now be able to just do those eight millimeters up there and lower the exhaust. OEM exhaust is off really hard. Um, why? This clamp is welded right here. This is an OEM exhaust welded to the uh, feed. And this would be a female. And so you put it on here and then you tighten it on here. Same thing with this one. These you can slide and then wiggle in, put lubricant in here. This one's just welded on. So literally it's welded on. Stupid. So I did get it off. Again, this is very similar to my MR2 where it goes two ZZ headers and then from the headers into the mid pipe is what we usually call it. You know, down pipe is usually on a turboed car. Uh, so mid pipe and then the mid pipe goes into the cat. There is an O2 sensor before cat O2 sensor after and then right into the exhaust right there. And so what I did was you put your foot, literally put my foot between where the U is in the middle of the U and then yanked back and forth and it came out with the, it came out <coughs> right through here with where it fell down. Uh, it is very heavy, let's weigh it right now. It weighs 26 pounds, 25.9, 26 pounds. Let's go grab the other one. The other one weighs, 15.8, so wow, 10 pounds lighter, awesome. Immediately 10 pounds. The car is 10 pounds lighter now. That's a lot, 10 pounds is good. Uh, and I'm sure it's gonna sound a lot better. So immediately 10 pound savings. Literally, uh, either you like it or not, it will be a little bit quicker of a car. Technically, the exhaust is mounted. Um, it's shorter than I thought the tips are. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you wanna, you'd wanna rotate it towards the back of the car more. I'm not sure. I think you might need to. I think I might need to adjust it and rotate it down a little bit. But uh, these tips are much bigger than the OEM. So I will have to cut out the uh, diffuser, which I didn't know. So I did make some marks on there and I am gonna whiten the diffuser a little bit. It's dark or darkish outside. So I've been out here a, a long time. I saw people do this before and they're like, no, nah, it doesn't take that much time. It does. So I'm gonna explain and then I'm gonna actually show you. So uh, first off, we're gonna actually go over back to my Sawzall. So I have a Sawzall and you can see right here, here's my trimmed pieces of diffuser. And so I trimmed all these pieces off right here and I didn't make quite a few cuts um, and then made a huge aluminum mess, which I'm gonna vacuum up, don't breathe that stuff in. I use a Sawzall right here with a metal cutting blade, cut, and then we're gonna go back. Oh yeah, I actually cut these too. So, quite a bit, look at that. That actually took quite a bit. I saw on a Lotus forum that someone saw the Jan Speed and they like did a three or a uh, cutout, a stencil, which I would recommend. So it looks pretty good. Uh, I had my wife come out and look at it. And I was like, how's this look? And she's like, oh, that looks really good. But uh, it's not perfect. If you look at it, you know, closely, uh, I cut, so right here it looks pretty good, but I did cut a little bit too much right here on that side versus this side. It looks pretty, pretty good. Here's the other thing. This looked absolutely spotless, perfect, uh, matte, or yeah, uh, matte black, like, I don't know how long ago. Uh, like four hours ago. And then I came out here and I cut, or yeah, I came back out and cut this. And then uh, I bounced a little bit against it, so it made some scuffs. And then there is a little bit of uh, still metal shavings. 
but it did look perfect. So learn from this video when you're doing this, if you're doing this one. First off, the exhaust tips are pretty, but they don't come out and around. I wanted them, uh, It. I mean, it's just because of the light. If there's no light there, the OEM one actually comes down like a noodle and like comes out a little bit and comes down in a noodle. This one's just like literally flush with the vehicle. Um, so actually, if you're not even looking at the car, you're not really gonna, right here it looks good, but I don't think you're gonna be able to see it as much during the daytime. It's really tucked. Uh, second off, is, is it's significantly bigger. Uh, this hole that you're gonna have to cut from here to here it, uh, is seven inches, or more than seven inches, because they're a little bit slack here. So it's like, it's like eight inches across, which is quite big. And so you do have to cut quite a bit of the, um, and this was so perfect earlier today, uh, quite a bit of the diffuser. So be aware with that. Uh, I know that there are some used diffusers. If you don't have one, you should always have a diffuser. Uh, but overall, I mean, from like an angle like this, it's gonna look perfect. Like literally looks perfect, you can't even tell. So let's slap the wheel on and then go get some uh, drive-by, uh, flybys. It is uh, night now, so it did take a while. I saw someone, they said they did this an hour. I, <laughs> not with cutting the um, diffuser. But overall, I'm really, really happy. So if you are doing a Jan Speed, you will cut up your Lotus with a Sawzall via the diffuser, be aware. It is not a plug and play OEM. And I actually thought it was, I assumed. Um, but now I could even fit the oval exhaust in there if I wanted to. Uh, so yeah, and then you can always, I think you could always get a, you know, order another diffuser if you must. And then I think there might be a carbon fiber diffuser too as well if you wanted. But uh, my matte, it's like semi-gloss, but it's supposed to be matte. Um, diffuser looks so good. Like right here, this looks so much better than what it did earlier today. But look, it doesn't even look like it has exhaust from this angle, so it's kind of weird. It's a weird thing, I'm, I'm just, I'm digesting it, but I'm sure it's gonna make it worth the sound. Yep. Go up to like 5,000 RPM a couple times and then go, just push it all the way down. Okay. All right, so go to 5,000 a couple times. Of the video how awesome 10 out of 10 
Jan Speed Stage 2 exhaust. This is a really good flyby, how to, sound, everything you want on a Lotus uh, Exige. This does fit your Lotus Elise, I believe, as well. I like it. I'm very happy with it. Be aware that you're going to have to chop up your diffuser uh, and it's worth it. Uh, it is so beefy sounding and to be honest the car does feel a lot faster it could be a little bit placebo but again it really is faster because you, you lost like 10 pounds on the other exhaust uh, but also it seems to idle like more freely uh, the OEM exhaust does feel like it's um, it's re restricting and it definitely is and so the next thing we'll probably do is an intake on it and then I'll look into purchasing a supercharger kit uh, that, that was one, uh, an MP62 uh, used Xyz supercharger for a reasonable price and I didn't pull the trigger, I should have pulled the trigger. Uh, also another thing you can do is you can actually just take the ECU out real quick and then ship it. Uh, I can't remember the company, but a company um, will do a tune on it and you get more power out of that too. I really like this car, I really enjoy it. It does feel like an exotic MR2 to be honest. Uh, but it looks really cool, it gets a lot of attention, a lot of thumbs up. And that Janspeed exhaust is really good quality. Like I like top speed, I've had a lot of top speed exhaust, but I've never had a Jan speed. This is really good sound, really good sound. People did say it's too loud, I don't think it is too loud. I'm used to very loud cars, but I don't think it's too loud. Uh, does it drone? Yeah, it'll drone a little bit. Um, the stock one in six gear literally sounds like an EV. It's like super quiet. Uh, and actually when I had the stock exhaust, when I purchased this car, I was at a gas station and someone asked if the car was an EV because the 2ZZ was so quiet with the stock exhaust. So I'm happy that I got a little bit more deep throat manly power. Uh, like, subscribe, swing by .com. I still got a few little bit more mods to the Exige. I love this car, 10 out of 10. Uh, we will be doing some spark plugs to even get a little bit cleaner. I'll show you guys how to do a mass airflow cleaner on it too. So like, subscribe, swing by .com. Appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next video.